Welcome back to another edition of TCM Graduate TV. I'm Ken Sussex, registered acupuncturist. This is episode 138, and today we are talking about the last heavy hitter on the liver channel. We've made it through all the heavy hitting acupuncture points on all the regular channels, liver 14. So the number one reason I'm using liver 14 in the clinic is for hypochondriac pain. Now, if we want to augment our treatment, we could use some symptomatic pairs for hypochondriac pain. We could use our Trip Warmer 6 and a GB34. Often hypochondriac pain is due to liver chi stagnation, so we could also add in a liver 3. But that being said, our Trip Warmer 6 moves chi in the lower warmer, and GB34 is going to help move a little bit of liver chi, and it's great for hypochondriac pain as well. Liver 14 is the front mood collecting point of the liver. We've talked before how using a yang acupuncture point, a yang back shoe to treat a yin organ is a good idea. How oftentimes using a yin front mu for a yang organ is a good idea. Good example of this is when we see lung problems. Typically, we won't use lung one. We'll use its back shoe, its yang point, UB13. When we've got stomach problems, typically we won't use its back shoe, UB21. We'll use its yin for a yang organ. We'll use ren or CB12. Now, when it comes to the liver, we can totally use UB18. We've got a yin organ. We would think, hey, maybe it's a good idea to use its yang acupuncture point that can, helps control it. Remember, these front mu and back shoe just regulate the organ. They just kind of tell them to get their stuff together. So we could totally use a UB18. However, liver 14 is pretty much on top of this liver. The same can be said for liver 13, the front mood collecting point of the spleen. Now UB20 is a very powerful acupuncture point, back shoe of spleen. However, this is pretty much right on top of the spleen. So this would be a good acupuncture point. So sometimes we need to meld our Eastern and Western thought together. Now, liver 14, very good for hypochondriac pain, would also be excellent an acute gallbladder attack. Now, an acute gallbladder attack would likely be due to damp heat in the liver and gallbladder. So we can clear heat with our He C point LA11. We can drain damp with our He C point Spleen 9. And to help spleen nine drain damp, we can transform phlegm with our connecting point, stomach 40. We're gonna help that liver and gallbladder out. We're gonna do liver eight, which is a huh C. We're gonna do liver five connecting. And of course, we could do a GB34, a huh C, influential of tendon, of course, but it also helps drain damp heat from the liver and gallbladder. Now our local acupuncture point in this case would be our GB24. So our next to neighbor that would help out GB24 would be our liver 14. And again, going back to that idea of melding locations of organs where acupuncture points actually are, any physical liver concern. So if you have a patient and they have a Western diagnosis that has the word liver in it, you should think, hmm, liver 14 would likely help. So any physical liver concern. Now, liver 14 will move a little bit of liver chi. And due to its location, again, it's right over top of that liver. It's gonna move that liver chi. Of course, we can add in our big bad liver three. That helps move liver chi. 
We can use GB34, actually helps move a little bit of liver chi, helps that liver three, excellent acupuncture points to do that. And when we mention chi, we could totally use our influential of chi, Ren or CV17. We could use a PC6. PC6 is known to help liver three move a little bit of liver chi. So there you have it, the last heavy hitter on all the regular channels. The, la the next video that I'm going to do for you is gonna be the big bad heavy hitter review on the entire liver channel. So look out for that. And then we're gonna cover extra acupuncture points. And we're gonna cover the extra channels first. So we're gonna go through Ren, we're gonna go through Do, and then we're gonna go through all the heavy hitting extra acupuncture points. And we'll look at the standard nomenclature and the new nomenclature for them as well. Just wanna remind you that safety is king, bedside manner is king, and results are king in that order. Thank you for watching this video.